Hello, my name is Joe, and I don't often talk into the webcam or make these kinds of videos, so forgive me if I have some weird edits that cut out all of those spots where I go, it'll happen a lot. I'd like to do a series, if you will, of short videos that just show how I draw. I used to have a physical crap book that I would just put a bunch of doodles in and collect and consolidate. It was messy. I'd like to transfer that analog setup to the digital sphere. I'm, you can't see it, but I'm gesturing to my Cintiq. And, you know, maybe you'd be interested in, in seeing how it goes. I don't know, maybe it'll be good, maybe it'll be crap, it'll probably be crap. I don't know, you let me know in the comments below. Oh, so maybe today I would like to draw the pinup mermaid thing, I guess. I don't know. That's just how it turned out. Um, yeah, this is what I ended up with, and now I'll show you how I started. So first I open Photoshop and just take the uh, animator pencil, or the cola erase pencil. Yeah, I started with the cola erase pencil and just started sketching, trying to get a nice curve in. Um, just trying to play with like, nice big shapes, like a big curve on the tail and the hair, and maybe try and sketch in a rock. And um, you know, I thought at this point, this is looking kind of cute, but maybe it's just a little too boring. I don't know, let's sketch over this. So. She's a different color and different pencil just to shake things up. And this is when I select the animator pencil. And let's make the eyes bigger. Yeah, eyelashes, eyelashes, eyelashes. And let's kind of refine some curves, bring things out, just to see if I can find shapes that are more interesting than the ones I started with. Because, yeah, I'm just not feeling that original sketch. Um, Got an email. I'll check that in a little bit. Oh, and I should probably say that about this point, I'm bad about that sometimes, so here we go. And then, uh, you know, I went through some more revisions and I was like, well, maybe I'll tilt her head this way. And maybe she's wearing some sea kelp, like a, like a thing. And I'm really hating this. I, I really think this is awful. Um, Maybe a nice curved fin shape will help me like it any better so far. The fin is the only thing I really like about this sketch. Uh, more hair. I like hair. Let's make better hair. And uh, try and get a 1940s sort of victory curl with a bang going off the top because, uh, you know, who doesn't love that? I freaking love that. And let's just change it again. I, I didn't like that face. Let's make a different pose here. Maybe she's being a little more coquettish. Maybe she's just a little more shy and sweet. No, maybe this is all awful. It kind of feels awful. And focusing on the hair again. Maybe do little dots for eyes. Ah, this is even more boring. Everything's so boring. Oh God, why is it all so boring? Change it, change it, keep drawing. Keep drawing and changing, changing. Now she's looking all the way over to this part of the ocean now. And I can't quite let go of that victory curl. So we'll just see, well, maybe a little adornment to balance out the big foofy hair. I go through the layers again and see where I've come from. I've come so far. I've come so very, very far. And yet I still have no idea where I'm going. Uh, change up the eyes. Still looking, still looking for shapes. I still haven't found any shapes that I like, or any personality. And at this point, I'm getting super frustrated. So I'm gonna just start painting. Why not? Just take the gouache brush and just maybe I'll have better luck if I completely change up the tool. I I've had no luck sketching, so I'll just start painting. And I don't have much hope for the future. Because um, I'm even a worse painter than I am a sketcher. And my love, that tail, I can't quite get it. I can't quite get it.
get something that I like that's interesting anymore. Somehow that shape just isn't doing it for me. Maybe like octopus tentacle tail. Oh god, that's so stupid. No, change it, change it. Oh, okay, all right, let's bring it on down. Bring it on up. Who knows? Maybe this is the way to go. You know, I'm thinking this is the way to go. At this point, I'm just losing steam. I just want to be done. I've committed too much to this already. I need to have something to show that I can be productive. I can do something. So I'll just choose some colors that I think work pretty well together. I can't go wrong with a nice vibrant pink. Especially uh, like an underwater mermaid type person. Uh, can have crazy, crazy skin and nobody will say boo about that. And as I paint, I'm not really taking any... Not, I'm not really using the underlying drawing for anything anymore as just a, a reminder of what failure is. Yeah. So just, I'm avoiding sticking to the drawing and just trying to see where the paint takes me. And choosing a nice bright color for the hair. The hair, oh gosh, the hair is where everything gets better, right? And uh, I'm using the paint behind feature, which is super great. Um, yeah, that way you can layer as you paint uh, without having to actually use different layers. And just especially the way these Kyle brushes interact is so nice. Um, and these, I haven't even used any blending yet. This is just how the, the brushes um, look. They're just really, really great and a lot of fun to play with. Even when I am super, super frustrated on a crappy, crappy, crap of drawing. So that little foofy thing has now turned into a polka dot bow. And I'm like, well, why not a polka dot shirt now? Why not? World War II happened underwater too. So maybe there's like little Rosie the Riveter mermaids, who knows? And I'll add just a couple shadows and a couple details. Pop, 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 those polka dots. Love polka dots. And now I'm noticing like more, more things that I dislike, but I'm forging ahead, trying to get this something done, something. I, I, highlights weren't working out for me, so you know what? No more big hair. Delete, delete, delete. And now I'm realizing that her body isn't facing the right way, so I'm just gonna try and smirch her around. It's not perfect, but at least it's not going to glaringly upset me anymore. And I think she should have a purse because, you know, she's so stylish, she should have a matching purse. Does it make sense underwater? I don't know. I didn't draw a background, so who knows if she's underwater or not. These are things I do not think about when I'm trying to get a drawing done. And, uh, yeah, smirch. Love those. I don't really feel like I'm going to finish this, um, like, the high, nice, uh, gushy highlights. I, I tried, but they weren't really working out, and it was just, I'm so frustrated at this point, I just want to be done. I want to go to bed, I'm tired. So, I'm just going to blend some things that I have, maybe add a few more details, try and get her uh, fishiness to pop a little bit with some blending. Now I'm just going to add some details on the purse, because <sighs> I do like the purse. I do like purses like that. I've got to respect that purse. Give it a little bit of a sheen. It could stand a better, brighter highlight than that, but I'm really losing steam at this point. So, I think, um, yeah. Just add a little more shadow here and there, a little more detail, popping, popping things out that I kind of like. But I don't... I don't think that I will work on this much more. You know what? I think I'm done. Boom. I'll try to do better next time. Thank you.